Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and let's look at this latest Daryl Dixon series teaser. A little promo thing they put out, and really, if you look at it, it's got a lot of the same things that we saw in the last one that they put out. Some of the same images, maybe some a little different. When we see the title, we see him coming in that same building again. So before I show you the one thing that is new in this that appeared at the end, um, we do see, you know, Daryl walks a long way across France, right? It's said that those images kind of remind people of Lord of the Rings, you know, the journey that he seems to be taking. And you'd think he's come across some walkers, right? Uh, just like when he crosses the Pont de Gard, you can see down below on the bridge part, he's walking in the actual aqueduct part where the water flowed. The bridge down below, you can see it looks like walkers. So you'd think he's come across some. Has he come across any variants yet? Um, are all the walkers the variant type over there? We got a lot of questions about that issue. And one other thing, a lot of people think that the building that Daryl is coming into is the same building that we saw at the end of World Beyond in the post credit scene. It's not. This is a whole different building. This looks like an industrial building, not an old science lab. So what we see at the end of the trailer is this. Some creepy walker hand rising up out of, I'm, I'm going to say oil or something. Is it a variant? What happened? Is it a walker stuck under a machine? Or, you know, what's going on here? There's some flowers there and vases. So that's kind of weird. But we did get this one new thing. So that's cool. Some weird walker uh, Daryl's about to encounter when he comes inside this building. And I'm not sure, you know, I'm guessing this is at the very first of the very first season. There's a lot of speculation about what's going on because supposedly where he's at in France or washed up on the shore isn't like it couldn't necessarily happen. He would have had to cross the ocean and then a sea. I mean, it just doesn't make sense how he would have just simply washed up there and then he walks a long way. So there's a lot of confusion there. Um, hopefully it'll make sense. But what do you guys think about the walker, the walker hand? It's not much. It's just a little glimpse of something, but it is creepy. It is cool. Could it be a variant? That's the thing, you know, about uh, Dead City and uh, Fear, of course. We thought, oh, well, since they reintroduced the variants, you know, in season 11, you know, it was just candy for us or something. It's definitely not being written into the story as a as a thing. Um, Angela Kang said they were regional around the Commonwealth around season 11. If anything, I do think we will see them in the Daryl Dixon show. What do you guys think about that walker hand? Do you think that's oil uh, that it's lifting up out of? What do you think is the situation here? Let me know down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James of Nashville as always. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.